Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Aston Villa Manager Mode. more Aston Villa manager mode guys where today we're going to be facing off against Liverpool again we're going to be facing off against Everton in the second or well in the replay of the FA Cup guys and Leicester is going to be finishing off this episode as well fingers crossed that we have a better episode than last episode because last episode guys even though we had a decent result we just played absolutely pants that first game was brilliant I could not fault the first game the other two not so much. Well guys, this is going to be the team that's facing off against Liverpool this second time around in the league this time. It's our full strength first side that's going out there, bar our right back at the moment. I have got a new sign in coming, but they haven't accepted the contract just yet. So hopefully that's going to come after this episode, after this uh, game. Well guys, here we go, the first game of this episode. It's a difficult one to start off. Aston Villa versus Liverpool. Oh, Sanchez can't grab hold of it. It's still Stevie G. Henderson down this left-hand side now with Coutinho. And I took my own guy out. And Joe Allen nearly pops in there with the goal straight away, guys. I took my own fucking guy out on Deef there. Joe Allen smiling about it, and fucking I would be and all if it nearly didn't end up in the back of the fucking net. Look, I took my own fucking guy out. Didn't manage to stop the ball going across the fucking uh, box, though, did I? What? It was a Jeff. How was that a Jeff? I never even fucking touched him. Are you having a laugh, man? Penalty put away. Well, Liverpool have got 1-0 up thanks to a Jeff. I didn't even realise it was a fucking Jeff. I thought that was nearly a goal there. No wonder Joe Allen was fucking laughing at me. Fuck. Hey, team. Ball up towards Markovic again is done me a bow here is done me a bow again. Markovic in towards Henderson towards Markovic. Thought I was going to be another Jeff there. Fuck. Oh ref. Yes. Go on Bakuna. Go on Bakuna. What is that? Oh, it's a goal. That's what it is. But Bakuna, I was expecting him to whack it across. He didn't. James Milner got there. Ironic and smacks it in from a weird, really weird angle and range. I didn't even expect that to go anywhere near the fucking goal. I didn't even expect James Mulder to win that. But Bakuna just overdid it a little bit there and then slid across and it just squeezed it underneath Mignolet. It's one all, we're back in it. Henderson, ball forwards towards Markovic on the right this time. What is that? What is Brad Guzan doing there? He should have had that. It was a sublime ball across, though. It has to be said. Markovic, brilliant ball across. Brad Guzan, just absolutely nowhere. Why? That is really bad. And Zogbier. It's a good shot, that. Mignolet saves it. But it was a really, really good shot, guys. Oh. Well, there we go, guys. That was half-time there, and I never even fucking realised. But Liverpool are winning 2-1 at half-time. We've played really bad, though, to be fair. Ball over the top there. There's a decent ball towards Coutinho. Sissoko charges in. Fucking nearly giving it away again. Pass the fucker when I tell you to! Joe Allen across. It's three. If fucking Pradle would have passed the ball like I asked him to do... It would never have happened, but they always have to take a fucking touch. Did the opposition have a take a fucking touch? No, they fucking don't. <laughs> Liverpool are winning 3-1, guys. Can't fucking believe it. It's a decent header as well. But fucking Coutinho's beating Ron Vlaar in the air. And Bakuna. It's crazy. Go on. Fuck! <laughs> oh, we really needed that. Ben Teke puts it past the post. I think the keeper might have had it covered anyway. Just trying to do too much, trying to get past Sarko. It's fucking terrible. The guy cannot do fuck all with his feet. In real life, he looks like a fucking donkey. But can't do fuck all with his feet. FIFA is like fucking sliced bread, isn't he? I can't get it off him today. It's been fucking terrible. Fuck you, referee! 
A free kick now for Liverpool in a very dangerous area. It's going straight for it, and that's 4-1. I can't believe how I've just been owned by Liverpool today. Really badly owned. Fucking hell. This has been my heaviest defeat in I don't know how long. I have been utterly shit today. Sterling's ball forward. Lallana's has done him. Oh my god, man. This is just too easy for him. Look at this. Where is Brad Guzan going? I don't know. I literally don't know what Brad Guzan is fucking doing anymore. He's coming out and have so why? And there we go, guys. That is the whistle for full time. We've got absolutely smashed today, guys. We have got smashed by Liverpool. 4-1. Well, it was bound to happen at some stage, guys, and maybe the dip in form is now. Guys, the guy that I had the contract offer refused it a couple of times now. I'm trying again with another offer. He's not that great of a player. To be fair, he's not that great of a player, so I don't know why I'm trying to get him, but it's just for numbers in the midfield more than anything else. But what did surprise me, guys, Brad Guzan wants to move. I'd like a move immediately, says Brad Guzan. That little fucker. I can't quite believe it that Brad Guzan is going to do that to me. I've got Shea given on the bench should I need him, but uh, I know that somebody's going to swoop in with a deal and then just going to sell me from underneath my fucking nose, aren't they? But anyway, it's going to be the same team that faces off against Everton, guys. We can't, surely can't get worse than last game. Second game of the episode, it is FA Cup replay time where we go to Goodison Park, guys. After the last game, I don't think we're going to win this one. Ross Barkley's ball forward now to McCarthy on the left-hand side with Pienaar. Goes back to Baines. The ball across hits Bakuna on the head. And luckily, the shot from Ross Barkley was utterly shit. Otherwise, yet again, my defence has put me in a fucking terrible area. Oh, that's a nice ball through. Brad Guzan with the save. Fabian Delf managed... Fuck off, game! I'm aiming up there. Nice ball. Nice ball. Nice ball. What a save. <laughs> what a save. Oh, it's back in, though. Benteke. Oh, what a ball! Oh, what a save again! Fucking Howard! If he does exactly what he did in the last fucking game, I'm going to be fuming. That was a lovely ball over the top. What an instinctive save from Tim Howard. Tries a lovely ball through towards Barkley. It's a good save by Brad Guzan. Well, the whistle goes for uh, half-time, guys. It's nil-nil. What can I say? It's not exactly been boring, but it hasn't been knock-the-walls-down kind of stuff, guys. We've had a couple of chances. Everton have had a couple of chances, but nothing's going in. Milner's ball of the top now. It's going to fall for Ben Teke. Yes! Eventually. Fuck! Oh, my God. That was a lovely ball over the top there. Ben Teke takes it down, bends it round Tim Howard. I thought he was going to save it yet again, but he didn't. And it's in the back of the net for 1-0, guys. Eventually. Still Eto. A shot from Eto there. It's not far away. Getting into a good spot here. Eto. What the hell? Sanchez. Fucking bullshit. What is this? What a joke. What a complete fucking joke. That was quite obviously fucking scripted all the way through. And I'm going to fucking show you why. Number one. He miscontrols it or mistimes the pass or whatever it is. Sanchez is just looking. No, hang on a minute. It's not even there. It's fucking here. It's even worse. Fuck. Press the wrong fucking button. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. Okay. Here. It's the shittest ball you've ever seen. Sanchez is right there. Doesn't stick a foot out. Never do my players ever make an interception. When the ball is just, it just walks past them like that. But worse, right, the shot. Okay, fair enough, it hit the crossbar. But I'm pressing triangle, and I'm pressing fucking triangle, and triangle, and triangle. And you're telling me that my keeper doesn't even jump for the ball. What a joke. There is no fucking keeper in the world 
that would, wouldn't jump for that. It doesn't even put his fucking hands up. It is a fucking joke. Not only that, but my guy wins the header, but it hits fucking Ross Barkley's head. It just so happens to flow underneath the fucking bar. Pradle gets done by Pina. Fucking big towering centre back with God knows how much fucking strength. And Pina out jumps him, out fucking muscles him, badges him out the way, and it comes off the underside of the fucking bar. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke, is this game. It's a fucking joke, guys. I don't know if you got the fucking point here, but it's a fucking joke. But other than that, it's one all, guys. Sarko, it's going all the way here. Go on, Sarko. It's a fucking joke, guys. It's a fucking joke. Well, it's what they deserve, to be honest. It is what they fucking deserve, because that goal over there should never have been a fucking goal. Well, Sarko, straight from the kickoff, turns on the inside, gives it a whack straight at fucking Tim Howard, but Tim Howard manages somehow for it to go under his body. At least, that is a little bit more realistic than what just happened at the other fucking side. Go on now, Sarko! Boos! Boos! Get in! Woo! It's about time the luck started fucking falling my way, I'll tell you something. The header hits the bar, uh, hits the post and comes back out to Benteke who smashes it in with the left boot there. Should never get beaten on the near post there. Goalkeeper should never get beaten on the near post. But it's 3-1. Fucking yes. Mirella straight into the arms. Brad Guzan. Having a laugh. Are you having a laugh? I throw it out and fucking Pradle gets his big fucking noggin in way. Oh, that's it, guys. Full-time whistle's gone now. And 3-1 in the end. Although, very, very frustrating, I have to say. Holy shit, that was frustrating. But in the end, we got the result that we deserved, because Everton were absolutely fucking shit. Eight shots, four on target. They had the most possession, but 11 shots, six on target. We deserve to have won that, uh, have won that match, guys. 3-1, we through to the next round of the FA Cup. All right, guys, well, after that game, we've now got Leicester at our last game. Top scorer in the league, Ben Teke, is an absolute ledge. This is the team. Now, I do have my new guy. It was Adlung, which is what you guys suggested in the comment section. He can play a central attack in midfield, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. But he's more of a left winger. I mean, it says his traits as a long throw in there. He's more of a left winger, but he's got a massive amount of stamina, as you can see. Good balance and what have you. Fingers crossed, though, that it's going to be okay in the central mid area. Cleverly there, Tolisso there. It just means I can have a full strength second squad out for these games, these dodgy games in between hand. So it's away at Leicester. Well, here we go, the third and final game of this episode, guys. It's the King Power Stadium, Leicester City versus Aston Villa. Tolisso. Oh my god, look at how many fucking people that Leicester have got in the fucking area. Are you having a laugh? I can't even get four people in the area, never mind eight. Oh, Vyman, he's got three, and it's gone blazing on the uh, the right-hand side of the post here. It's a yellow card from an earlier challenge. Really, what? Where was the challenge on there? Oh, hang on a minute. Is it going to be a free kick, Len? Like, you give a oh, fucking, is it fuck? You gave a fucking Jeff in the first match for that, after the ball had fucking gone. Never gave a free kick for me. Double standard bastard. Fuck off. Bullshit. Oh my god. I thought I was in then. I thought that was in. That was a really good move from Leicester. A really good move. Ajoa. It should have been in. Vyman. Ball in cleverly. Turns on the inside. But fucking Hammond. Oh my god. What is this game? Are you serious? He's got loads of space, loads of time to take the shot, and he fucks it right up the ass. Holy shit. It's definitely this this point, guys, is the low point now. I can feel it. Well, guys, that is half time. Nil-nil again. It's a very boring game. Yeah, I can't say more than that. It's a very boring game, and I'm getting utterly frustrated, guys with this form, this form system. Do you know what gets me, right? 
And it's understandable. You know, it's realistic. Players, you know, have dips and, and, you know, they have high points, low points and what have you. Teams have high points and they have low points and they can't get results sometimes and everything seems to be going against them with passing and stuff like that. And it's realistic. I don't mind that, you know. I don't mind it. But if you're going to be realistic and you pride yourself on realism, it has to run through the game. Now, doing 5,000 skill moves is the only way to reliably get past defenders all the time. It's not what happens in real life, is it, guys? Let's be fucking quite honest. Even Messi doesn't do 10,000 fucking skill moves. It's not realistic. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Nugent. Ball forwards, Cambiasso, Nugent, it comes off the underside of Sarko, or Heard, or somebody it does, and goes flying out for a corner now for uh, Leicester City. Corner to be whipped in by Cambiasso. It's totally missed by the goalkeeper yet again. Here we go. Adlung! It's palmed back out by Schmeichel. It's the only fucking save of the whole game by either, uh, by either goalkeeper. Nugent's ball, look at this. Vyman's ball through now. And Joe Cole's got absolutely no fucking pace whatsoever. Can't shoot. Oh my god. Anybody else but Joe Cole picks that up. And it could be a goal, guys. Grealish is ball forwards now. And it's Vyman. That has to be a card, ref. That has to be a card. I'm through. I am clear through there. Fucking yellow. I was clear through the dirty bastards. Well, Bakuna, who has scored before, has a chance here to score again. Bakuna. Oh, my God. That is so bad. That is so bad. Vardy still with the ball on the left-hand side. No block again. This time, De Costa gets up. And uh, it's over the bar. But I never get blocks in when they get crosses. They get them all the fucking time. And there is the whistle, guys, for full time. I have to say that was a piss-poor fucking game. <coughs> that was horrendous. It was a really, really bad game. And I'll, I'll back it up with stats for you guys. Look at that. Two shots from Leicester, both offside. Uh, both uh, off target. I had eight shots. Only three of them were on target. And even then... Two of those were in the same fucking move with Joe Cole. It was really fucking bad, guys. It was really bad. And this is the point at which my team is starting to go downhill. Hopefully in the next episode we can bring that back. Who knows? But if you've enjoyed this episode, and God knows fucking why, then please go ahead and leave a like, guys. It'd be brilliant if you could. Let me go and see where we are in the league. Just to end things off. We are on a dip of form for sure. Definite dip of form, guys. We're dropping points. We're in the Capital One Cup semi-final. Um, that's what we want to have a look at, actually. We need to win this or draw nil-nil. So we're still top, but six points are between me and Liverpool now in second place. Man Manchester United still to play. They could go up to 42. Chelsea still to play as well. And Manchester City. But we're looking good for European football, but we just need to get start getting results again. So guys, that is going to be it for the end of this game, uh, end of this episode. Please go ahead and leave a like, guys, if you could, if you could. And I'll see you next time. Until then, top and as always, stay safe.